Nityananda, let's enter into the meditation for the fourth week. So the meditation you're going to do is a 21 minute meditation called a breath watching meditation. A few things you need to understand, let me just explain first. See, we're working on the pranamaya kosha, which means this layer, this covering actually refers to your circulatory and respiratory system. That means your blood flow and your uh, prana flow, your chi. So the stream of life flowing in you, this layer is responsible. And prana refers to the life-giving energy that you inhale through air or every time you breathe in. You don't actually need air to live, to be alive. You only need prana, life force. So in our breathing, there are actually five processes. Inhaling, the prana stay in you and the prana spread over the body, which is the life-giving energy that is separated from the air and the energy that spread over the body. Then the prana leaves the body through exhalation. And finally, the part, the cleansing process that happened naturally. So one of the things that happened is because of our restless, unconscious, uh, shallow way of breathing, uh, distorted breathing, the separation of the prana shakti from the air is not happening properly. That's why you're feeling tired that's why you don't feel that you're able to cleanse the body uh, naturally through the breath, through the breathing. So when you're aware of these five processes, you naturally be able to purify your body by itself through these five processes of the breathing. Unfortunately, due to our unconscious breathing, the unloading time for the prana to be infused in the body, it's not sufficient. You tend to purge away the, through the exhalation before the prana is actually separated from uh, the air and that gives the energy to you. So that's why in this meditation, you're going to be able to witness the five prana movement. So when that happens, more prana will get unloaded from the air into your system. So Let's enter into the meditation. So sit in any comfortable meditative posture with the spine upright. Release any tension you may have. Completely be relaxed. Bring awareness first to your inhalation. Just Witness your inhalation. Forget about the rest part of the breathing. Focus your awareness on inhalation. Just by being aware of your inhalation, if the breathing changes itself, that is okay. But do not try to change a breathing pattern by force or by will. Let it happen naturally, just by your awareness. Awareness of your inhalation.
witness the incoming threat. We are fishing. Next, bring awareness to the first gap between the inhalation and exhalation, the first neutral zone, the pause between the incoming breath and the outgoing breath. Witness the first gap. Be aware of the gap between the inhaling and exhaling. At this moment, try not to fall asleep. Stick with the back straight. Bring awareness to the meditation. Now, I'd like you to bring awareness to only the exhalation, the outgoing breath. Focus your awareness on exhalation.
Awareness of the exhalation. Now, slowly bring your awareness through the space between inhalation and exhalation and feel the spreading of the prana shakti all over your body. Bring awareness to the part where the spreading occurs, how prana spread all over your body and makes you feel alive. Witness this process. Awareness of the space between inhalation and exhalation. Witness the spreading of the prana all over your body and makes you feel alive. Now, I'd like you to bring awareness to the four processes, inhaling, same of the prana spreading all over the body and exhaling. Witness these four processes. Bring awareness to these four states of your breathing. Inhaling, staying, spreading all over the body and exhaling. Watch this fasting.
awareness of the four processes, inhaling, staying, spreading, and exhaling. Next, I'd like you to shift your awareness to the neighbor area. See your neighbor area at the below, there is a downward flowing prana called apana. Out of the pancha prana, the five movement. One of the movement is called apana, which is the downward movement of your energy. Just bring awareness at the neighbor area and witness. This downward apana is actually responsible for all the excretionary action, all the purging of the body, cleansing, whether it's urination, bowel movement, menstruation, or anything that is responsible for living through the holes at the lower body. That energy, apana, is responsible for that purification. Bring awareness to the neighbor area and witness this prana, this apana, prana. Now, I'd like you to bring awareness to all the five movements of prana, the pancha prana. Inhaling, staying of the prana, spreading throughout the body, exhaling, and finally, cleansing. All the five movements of the prana. Watch these five movements through the breathing, inhaling, staying, spreading, exhaling, and cleansing.
when the five prana processes happen with your awareness, consciously your body would get cleansed automatically. Not only your nose, but even your fingertips start will start breathing. The whole body will become alive. The whole body becomes alive. It will start cleansing itself. All you need to do is bring awareness to the five prana movement. Inhaling, staying, spreading, exhaling, cleansing. Now, you can relax from the breathing, from the breath awareness. Slowly, whenever you're ready, you can remove the eye band and open your eyes. Just go with this feeling that you're connected to the entire space, the whole cosmos. Now I end the meditation with the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamitam Purnat Purnamudashate Unasya Purnamada Yapunameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Aryom Tatsat Sopam Bhagavashi Nityananda Paramashiva Bharata Paramasti Om Nityanandam